Profundo. Okay, I haven't recorded anything for a little while. I have decided to go through a couple of these new Grounds Flash games. Just because I'm not recording doesn't mean I'm not playing. This is Dreamgate Escape by Mo Fun Zone, and it is a sort of creepy little thing. It's a point-and-click adventure, and uh, the point is sort of to figure out, well, the in-context uh, point is to figure out what the heck you're, uh, you're doing. You feel like you're awake, you feel like you're asleep, and you're in this weird place where there's a cactus that blows bubbles made out of blood. So as you head around, I don't know how well you can read at the bottom, the sky is full of beautiful stars. I can even see the large red ones. The moon, a delicate sliver of ivory suspended in the night's embrace. Uh, now I've seen everything. I think I'll name it Bubble Cactus. A building uh, lurks ominously in the distance. Grass plains stretch out to either side. It's a hollow log. There's something in there. So you click Death slash Rebirth Discovery, carved into the log. We're going to head down to the building telling us to escape. So we're going to head inside. And now, like most point-and-click adventures, this one's going to have puzzles to figure out. So you can see here, there's a doormat that says V-I-V-I-V-I, -I -I -I, which just happens to be Roman numerals for 6, 6, and 6. And that'll open the door and let us in. I do like the little flashlighty action, but that even without the flashlight you can still see stuff. I'm not a big fan of the uh, games where you've got a flashlight but it's absolute pitch black without the flashlight. Doors are eyes, eyes are doors. If you wanted to stay alive you shouldn't have read this. You can read that, I can read that, if you actually go over it. It triggers this guy who kills you and then it sends you back here. So you check in here, eyes are doors. Each time you die it gives you a clue. Dog, I'll let you out in just a minute. So what we want to do is head through here, step back. We've got a number one and this snake looking si uh, symbol and there are neat circular holes in the ground. Well, Let's take that and we saw that little egg-looking symbol. Glimpse the answer. It's telling you the clue that if you didn't uh, keep track of what had happened, you wouldn't have noticed. Now if we go this way, we've got two doors here. And if you get over here, that guy comes and pops up, and then another guy will pop up on the other side. We're going to head down the right door, and we see this little key. Well, this kind of combination lock. We saw this little squiggly symbol with a number one, and we also saw this sort of egg-looking symbol with the number one. So we'll put those together and head back and head back. We'll go in the left door. We see a number three. Stop it. Ah, with a G-looking thing and look a coat hanger kind of looking thing. So we'll go back find our number three. We'll put this G looking one and this coat hanger looking one. Now we're going to go back. We followed both pathways. So what we need to do is figure out this doors are eyes thing. And we'll open up that purple one. And now we're in a different room. Here's a number two. Two is going to have this antelope looking one on the right and this double squiggly looking one on the left back up. How do we back up? Uh, no. There we go. And then on the left, uh, we've got a switch. So we'll pull that switch. And the doors come in and crush us. And we see that there's a lock in there. Death opens your eyes. And that's the clue to let you know that when you die, it gives you extra health because you died, because you suck at this game. 
Well, we know what two has, so we'll go back to red. Go back this corridor. There's that double looking squiggle, and it had this antelope looking squiggle. Head back, head back, head back. Let's go red. I mean, back to the purple. And now that we've crushed ourselves, we can go through this door. So we'll head down there, and the number four has this squiggle with the arrow. The other eye right now, though, is closed, so we're going to back up. Back up again. No, back up. There we go. Head, no, wrong way. This way. Four has this squiggle with the arrow. And if we do that, we see the other eye is now open, and it's the V-shaped one. So we'll head back again. And, no, wrong one. Wrong one. Stop it. Go back. I, there we go. This way. Four has this one. And we don't even need to find five, because there's only two symbols left. So we'll head down here. Okay. we got three buttons and a clock. So what can we do? Well, the time on the clock looks kind of like 4.30. So we'll put in 4.30. And that didn't seem to do it. So 4.31. That didn't seem to do it. I'm sorry, it's not 4. That would be 3.30. What kind of idiot am I? Huh, there we go. The alarm clock wakes us up. Now we, it tells us to wake up. So we click on here. I like that. I woke up with a start, gasping for air. My body was shaking, my head burned, and my heart was frozen solid. I took a deep breath, looked around, and released a huge sigh of relief. I was home. It had just been a dream. I was already forgetting what had happened as my mind drifted into sleep once more. I closed my eyes. The end. I liked that game. I solved it just about as quickly as I did right there on the walkthrough which means I died a couple times that I didn't have to. But I enjoyed that game. They were simple puzzles, but, I mean, what, it took not even ten minutes to do? And I'm going to play another Flash game immediately after this. So we'll see you there.